beyond me. Sports are essential for life. I mean that. Every good decision I made in my life had its roots in some or the other sport. And today, I'm going to share with you some of those deepest, darkest secrets I owe to sports. And I'm certain that after today's talk, you'll make better decisions in every aspect of your lives. My passion for sports has a deep-rooted origin. It all started when I loved playing cricket and football as a child and watched my parents play a challenging card game. It was followed by an intense research into the economics of auctions at the major Indian Premier Cricket League last year. I have watched and re-watched hundreds of matches, analyzed sports players and the strategies deployed by them. I have seen players with better skills and mental strength, represented a winning streak, and were able to express dominance against all odds in a particular game. Sometimes, even the best of best bowling spells by fast bowlers are when they bowl significantly slower than their average speed, just to confuse the batsman. This is when I realized sports has a deep connection with psychology and game theory. I started quenching my curiosity by reading a lot of sports literature, watching sports tournaments online and offline, and analyzing sports strategies. Over time, I realized and identified the intricacies and the dynamics of particular moves, especially in cricket. I'm sure all of you can recognize the image on the screen. I remember this one time I went to watch the Cricket World Cup Finals in 2011, when MS Dhoni remained not out at 91 runs and looked cool as a cucumber. His calm and focused approach to only play the loose balls is one of the reasons India now proudly holds two Cricket World Cup ODI trophies. On another evening of an intense full match, I went up to Dad and asked, Papa, why did Hardik Pandya go for the big, big hit again? Even though he hit two sixes, there was no need. My dad replied, he just continuously hit sixes, and he probably thought he could do it on every ball now. However, he tried and got out. But I then didn't quite understand this logic. After some research, I came across this term, recency bias. As reflected in the term itself, recency bias refers to the human mind extrapolating the most recent successes or failures to future events. For example, when a card player wins a big prize pool, tends to increase his speculation size, even though the odds of him winning the next game are completely independent of the previous one. This just comes to show how our human mind outweighs the outcome of the most recent event. I can totally relate this concept to my life, and I'm sure all of you do too. Don't you all think so? For example, in one situa situation, when I was appearing for this competitive exam, the first perplexing question perturbed me and affected the rest of the exam. My confidence took a dip, and I had been a victim of recency bias. Another one of the most important lessons I've learned by sports is threshold. Threshold is the discipline and the ability to not overindulge. Threshold has taught me a lot of things. For example, I've seen numerous players who've had huge successes only because they had the patience and played the game the right way. Discipline is a lifestyle, not just a rule enforced by a school teacher. A well laid out strategy practiced by Sachin Tendulkar during net sessions on the previous day and executed with a sense of patience and focus to only play the loose balls is the threshold between practice 
and hunger. Due to the inherent nature of our life, as well as sports, the idea of choreographed chaos is come. Choreographed chaos means even in chaos, there needs to be choreography. There needs to be certainty in the uncertainty. Even an improvisation can be choreographed. For example, you might not know how the pitch will behave on a given day, the combination of players, or the strategies the opponents will deploy. But you're always expected to use the optimal decision in your position, which usually involves your instinct. And this can be totally extrapolated to our lives, as there are patterns in life here and there, everywhere. And you just need to find it. Once you do, take your decision and take the right one by assessing the risks and rewards and trusting your instinct. Sports has taught me invaluable life lessons, unlike any other activity. It has taught me how to deal with highs or lows of life, to make optimal decisions, trusting your instinct, and transform your well, yourself in ways you cannot imagine. Sports redefines you to you. Thank you.